Hi, I'm Mr. Bullock with B&B Test Prep, uh, here to go over the basics on triangles. Uh, before I get started, I want to remind you to stop by your counseling office and at your local high school. These are free. Pick up one of these preparation books. Uh, there's another book that looks just like it. It's called the, uh, I think it's the registration book. So pick that up too. But I'm going to be going over, there's a, a practice test inside of here and I'm going to be going over the practice test, uh, the math portions of this. And for those of you guys that have purchased this book, uh, this is a great book. There's so many resources in it. I have all the math, par uh, math problems worked out in this book. Uh, so if you have any questions on this, just email us at bb at bbtestprep.com and I can uh, respond to you with, usually within a day. Uh, just tell me what page you're on and which number you're on and I'll send you a solution. Okay, this uh, video is on uh, just basics about triangles, you guys. I'm just going to go over the basics on it. Now, everybody knows that a triangle adds up to 180. And uh, another thing about a triangle is, is that the bigger side is opposite the bigger angle and the, the smaller side is opposite the smaller uh, angle and the medium side is opposite the medium angle. So, for example, if I gave you a, a triangle ABC, triangle ABC, a lot of times they'll put down here, note, the figure is not drawn to scale and when it's not drawn to scale then it's probably out of whack a little bit. But this one I'm going to try and keep it to scale. But say uh, this angle right here was 59 degrees, this angle over here was 61 degrees, and this angle up here was 60 degrees. They could ask you something like uh, list the order of the sides from least to greatest. Or they might not even put this 60 inside of there. They'll have you figure that out because it adds up to 180. So you'd have to add these guys up and figure these guys up, add up to 120 and take that off of 180 and figure that guy's equal to 60. Okay, and then so the biggest side is going to be opposite the biggest angle. So here's the biggest angle in this triangle, which means side AB would be the biggest side. And the medium angle is this one, and so that means the side opposite that is side AC, so that would be the medium side. And then, uh, and then the smallest side would be this side over here, side BC. Okay, uh, another thing, uh, and they give these formulas to you uh, on your first section of the math portion that you take on the SAT. They'll give you a list of formulas, and, and when I cover this, I'll show you that list of formulas that they go over uh, in the other videos. But the, uh, the SAT uh, test makers seem to be addicted to 30, 60, 90 triangles and, and 45, 45 right triangles. So let me show you the basic facts on 30, 60, 90s. And this is one of the formulas they give to you. And, and, and if you're like most test takers, and if you're like me way back once upon a time when I was taking your test, I would have skipped over all those formulas, I, I think. Anyway, so, but they do seem to be uh, consistently addicted to these 30, 60, 90 triangles. Now, on a 30, 60, 90 triangle, you have two legs and you have a hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is always opposite this right angle right here. Everything revolves around this shortest leg, so I'll call that leg X right there. Now, on a 30, 60, 90 triangle, if the shortest leg is X, the hypotenuse is going to be uh, twice that. It's going to be 2X. And then the longer leg is always X root 3. So, for example, um, uh, if I had, uh, let's see, a 30, 60, 90 triangle, and say that was 30, and that they probably wouldn't put that 60 in there. You're supposed to uh, see that that's going to be 60. Uh, and say this was 18 over here. Well, if I, this is the hypotenuse, so if I take half of that, this guy's going to be 9, and then this guy's going to be 9 root 3. They're not all going to be that easy, but that's the basics on 30, 60, 90s. Okay, one more, uh, 45, 45, 90s. Got a 90 right there, 45 degrees, 45 degrees. Sometimes they may do this, you guys. Here, let me do the same triangle over here. They may just tell you that these angles are congruent right there. Well, these triangles are the same. They're isosceles right triangles. They're 45-45 triangles. Um, so if these angles are the same, that means these sides are the same. So I'll call them both x right here. The hypotenuse is always x root 2. Okay? If these angles are the same, and that's right angle, these guys got to be 45 each. Okay, so if that's x, that's x, that's x root 2. So if I had uh, this isosceles triangle right here, you know, they might even tell you that this is 10 root 2. What's this over here? This is 10. This is 10, because 10 times 10 root 2 will give me the hypotenuse. Um, I don't know that, 
a silly gimmick for me, how I remember the Route 2 and the Route 3 stuff, is, uh, is this, a 30-60-90 triangle. The 30 has a 3 in it, so this triangle has a Route 3. Um, this triangle has two equal sides in it, two equal sides, so this one has Route 2. Okay, don't forget, you guys, you can pick these up for free. This is the 2008-2009 edition. Um, I'll be going over this in some more videos. And make sure, again, you guys get the preparation book. It says right here, preparation book. The other one says registration book in the same spot right there. But they give you a nice practice test in here. And I'll see you in the next video.